trees and their rings hold a lot of information within them and they show us a history of events that have taken place here on this planet over time going back thousands of years. Now if you can find the right tree that was in the right place, the right time, it can unlock some things. And right now they're saying that recently in New Zealand on its northern island they have discovered this ancient tree on a beach that goes back 40,000 years. And with this tree they're saying it's special because there is a record of a pole shift event that occurred between 41,000 and 42,500 years ago. And they're saying that for the first time, they have a tree that lived during the entire event. And they have discovered it. They go on to describe this giant tree that was well preserved under 26 feet of soil. Saying that it lived to be 1,500 years old when it died, more than 4,000 or 41,000 years ago. So they're saying during its lifetime, the Earth's magnetic field almost completely reversed. They go on to drop some more information here in the numbers on these reversals throughout history. They say that it's happening randomly that 183 events have taken place in the past 83 million years that we know of and that the process is slow, that it lasts somewhere between 2,000 and 12,000 years, the process. The low side is 2,000 years. They're saying the last time a full reversal happened was 780,000 years ago, but this information seems to get tweaked all the time once new stuff pops up. You may recall, here recently, scientists have been stating our poles are running towards Siberia. Or the one pole is running towards Siberia. It's moving. So I believe that we are in, in motion right now, so to speak, in terms of one of these events. And if they last thousands of years, definitely think the next one has begun. We are in it right now. The effects that that has on weather... Radiation, real pole shift, crustal displacement pole shift, and all that. That makes for a lot longer story. I'm going to break this down further. Live, Underground World News Live. Make sure to join us. I go live every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. And I'm also going live throughout the week over on DLive. Several different nights where the gloves come off. And we talk about the nitty gritty, no censorship. And we get to it. So follow us over there on DLive as well. Hope to see you there. Links in the description.